Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com and I'm here with um, this week's Dyes Shorts. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share the um, Paper Pumpkin. This is the March Here's To You. And look at the cute box that it came in. And I love that um, they are now shrink wrapped. So um, it used to have the, the mailing sticker on it and everything. So if you wanted to reuse the box, you know, it kind of looked like a mess. And now they they put the clear um, shrink wrap on there and then the shrink wrap gets the mailing thing on it. So you have the cute little box that you can reuse. So um, I like that, I like that a lot. So um, that's what I'm gonna share with you. So I'm gonna do a, uh, the car, a couple cards at the beginning are, are like the kit tells you to do it. And then I have some alternatives I'm gonna share with you too. So make sure you stick around for that. And um, so let me flip the phone and we will get started. All right, I try to put my hand there so you don't have to get um, seasick. Let me turn this other light on. All right, so hopefully you have um, fun plans for the weekend. Um, I swear the weekend's come so quick, right? We have the over the border spring social tomorrow. So I can't wait to see everybody. And um, so got to go to bed early to be good and fresh um, for that. So make sure that you um, keep track of and sign up for my emails and stuff like that so that you don't miss out on the fall social and that's in September. So you want to make sure um, that you're on our mailing list so you don't miss out on that. All right. So before I get <clears throat> to the cards, the month's almost up. So I do want to um, make sure that you remember when you are placing an order with me that you use this month's hostess code. Um, unless you're ordering over 150 or more. Remember when you order 75 before tax and shipping, you are earning the little incentive. So um, also the last chance sale is out. You can see the main catalog as well as the um, January to the June retire list is out as well. And you can see those um, lists on my blog. If you are, um, watching the YouTube replay, you can see um, the walkthrough where I flipped through the catalog and went over them as well. So you can see those videos. You also want to make sure that you pre-order your new catalog. I need to know by the 30th. Um, so if you've ordered 50 before tax and shipping since October the 20, 2020, you will get one of those in the mail. Just please make sure that you um, email me if your um, mailing address is different than your ship to. Um, I need to know that um, because they will come through the mail, right? Not through um, UPS. Okay, so also I'm still doing my countdown to 900K and look at how close we are for me to be picking number five. So keep those orders coming in. Every time you place an order in my store, your name goes in the bucket. Um, if you order 50 before tax and shipping, your name goes in the bucket two times. So, um, so watch for that. You can also um, go to the blog post that I officially put this in. And if you comment on that blog post with your name and where you live, because you have to live in America, um, and you can um, get your name in one time for a comment. All right, so let me move those out of the way. <clears throat> and then we can get started. Okay, so this month, they're super, super cute. And they actually came with some extra stuff. So they came with a cute little sponge and these fun little stencils. Now I didn't use the stencils, but you totally can. So there's like a sun, there are clouds, there are stars, which would be super fun to do for the night sky. And then there's like mountainscapes. So there's mountain and then there's like these gray things here, which would give you um, some shadows on, on your mountains or snow. All right, so those come with it. So that was kind of 
cool that we got those extra little things. We also got the Calypso Corals um, spot. We got dimensionals. There was twine in there. What else was in there? <clears throat> um, the glue dots. You only got the one glue dot. This is my little Jack's envelope. I don't use these glue dots. And so I just stick them in the envelope when the envelope gets full. And then my... Um, I'll send them off to my sister because she uses them. All right, so let's do, um, like I said, I'm going to do one card like each, and then I'm going to show you some fun ones that I came up with. Hi, Candy. So um, it's a super cute little set. All right, so we have Pretty Peacock. That's the card base. And then you have this cute little um, scenery that we're going to um, decorate. So with your twine, and it said 28 inches, I believe, it says on the directions, but I'm just going to, cause I've done one already, I'm just going to eyeball it. So what I'm doing is I'm laying my twine on my card and I'm just using scotch tape. Now they tied it behind there, ah, I'm just using scotch tape. And then we are just going to Wind it around three times. And then I'm going to put another piece of scotch tape. Scotch tape is your friend, right? Oh, well, two o'clock. Um, Jeannie, two o'clock is my Friday time. So I don't, I think I was on time. Who knows, right? Um, my Teach Me Tuesdays are at 3 Arizona time. My Dyes Shorts and my What You Making Wednesdays at, are at 2 o'clock Arizona time. And my Mimeograph Mondays are at 11 o'clock Arizona time. So I kind of stagger them. I know it can get confusing, but sometimes they're better for other people. So I kind of have them, you know, different different times but I always replay them um Facebook always replays them and then I also put them up on my YouTube so if you can't um do the live you can always catch um the replay okay so we have um our, our cord behind there now I always just use my big pad so I never use the little stamp and spots I just kind of put them aside if I ever want to use them down the road for something and it came with these cute little um, seagulls or birds. So I'm going to stamp those up in the sky up here with the Calypso. And they're so fun up there, just flying away. Speaking of birds, it, our backyard must be bird heaven because I need to do um, a tails from the yard. And I think it would be number four. Hi, Marcy, hi, Jackie. Um, because we have cardinals, I've talked about it, we have cardinals, quail, these red winged blackboard bird things, but now the oriole is coming. So we're having the oriole come and it drinks from the hummingbird feeders because we have hummingbirds too. So it is so cool. What else? Did I say cardinals? Doves. And today we had a white dove. I've never seen a white dove before. So I took a picture. So um, I uploaded all those pictures. So I need to put them on my blog. All right. So what I did was I had stamped the little happy birthday. So on the little um, slips of paper that it gave you. I also stamped earlier the here's to you on the little strip of paper. So that will be used on the other card. And basically these are just going to get assembled above and below and on the twine. All right, so I'm gonna put this one down here. I love this little happy birthday. It's the cutest little size. And this is a photopolymer set, so you can see right through it. So it was no problem at all stamping them on that um, paper. All right, so you have that one there. Hang on a minute. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. Do, 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 do. Hold on a second. I'm gonna split. I'm gonna split my twine a little bit. So I'm just 
see how I'm just pulling that? I want that twine to give me a little bit of a shape. So I've got one up, two down. So you can see that? So that now this will go in between the twine so that the glue dots will stick. All right, and then put one above. One above. So this one, this card was fairly simple. I think they both were fairly simple. And then I played around for the alternative ones. All right. So there you go. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. All right. So since we have cording back here, the short keeps cutting out, at least on my computer. Um, just, um, oh, wait. The show, oh, because Jeannie, you're, you're messaging me. I'm like, what? Um, just um, hit hit the refresh. I had to do that the other day um, when I was watching Marcy's. So, because it looks good on my phone and it looks fine on my computer. So you might have to hit your refresh. All right. So I'm just using glue dots because I have that twine back there. So, and these are some poopy glue dots. I had to re rewrap them. All right, and they're, they hardly stick. So let me get another thing. All right, so I put my glue dots back there only because the twine is there and it won't allow the adhesive to really stick. So I always use glue dots whenever I have ribbon behind. All right, so see, that one was Super, super easy, super, super quick. All right, and then the envelope. So we have these fun little, um, what are these? Like, they're like a natural kind of envelope. So what I always do, so you have your envelope liners. So what I do is I stick the liner in the envelope and just wiggle it in there. And you have to kind of don't show any fear because the envelopes are fairly thin. So you have to kind of wiggle it in there. Okay, so it's inside the envelope. Then what I do, so I stuck it all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to fold the envelope at its fold. Give it a good crease. And then, so see now your liner has a crease in it. And then I take my adhesive. So you can use your green tip, you can use your snail, whatever you want. Then you're gonna close this. And then what happens is, so now it's attached to here. So when you open up this, it allows this part in the envelope, it's free, like it won't catch. You don't want to glue it in here because it will it will catch, right? Does that make sense? So now this can go, see it, it barely moves. It's hard to see, but this is allowing it to just scoot down in the envelope just a little bit, and then it comes up just a tad when you open up the envelope. All right, so hopefully that made sense. So then this one goes in here. So you have one card done. All right, so now let's do this one. And I need to go get a Kleenex. Hold on. And I run across the room. Ugh. It's so fun. It's been so windy the last few days. It's just blowing stuff everywhere. Okay, so here is this one. It is so fun because look at it. You already have this really cute um, little mountain and the sun is coming out of it um, design on it. So we're going to give it a crease and this is petal pink and then you have these fun little trees so I've already popped them out so that's going to go on here you also have a little piece of green so this is old olive that's going to go down here you have this image which has got the fun little clouds and we're going to stamp a bird on there So we have our little bird stamped on there like that. All right, close my pad. 
And I don't know if you could stamp. Let me see. Could you stamp the birds? I mean, they're almost made where you could go one way or the other. Like, it would just mean the wings are different. But they kind of look best that way. But if you did, by mistake, stamp them the wrong way, it, it, they're just birds. All right. So then we are going to assemble. So I also need the here's to you. And I'm going to put some adhesive in my center of my here's to you. Then I'm going to come over and I'm going to cut some twine. I believe it said 16 inches. It says on the directions. I love that the directions, you know, it just tells you exactly what you have to do. All right, so I'm just making it into like this circle-y thing, almost like a lasso or lasso or whatever. Then you're going to lay this on to that adhesive. So the adhesive is going to hold that in place like that. Then we're gonna take a couple little glue dots And we're gonna set that aside. Now, everything else had glue dots on it too. So I used quite a few glue dots and it comes with a little baby. Um, I keep calling glue dots and they're dimensionals, the little baby dimensionals. And I also cut them because when you do the trees, I like to have some support under all of my tree. All right, now I'm going to put an old olive on the top, and I'll show you why, because I used the other three on a different card. All right, so this will be a little bit different, just a tad. All right, so then we put our little baby dimensionals on the back of the tree. I love when we get these fun... Um, Remember a couple years ago, we got like, uh, it was a Christmas one, and there was like trees that were like this too, so you could make the scenery. I love that. So see what I did? I just took my um, dimensionals, and I just cut right up the side, and now I have a nice, long, skinny dimensional. So let's peel the back off of it. And then that's going to go here. So even this is going to have a dimensional on it. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do a shorter little one because I don't want this tree not to have a dimensional. And he's kind of skinny. So if I put the round one, you can see it. So I'm just putting up that tiny little um, dimensional on there. Get on there, you. All right, and don't let it stick to your finger. All right, so I need to add two more to the top. Okay, and then we can start to put our card together. So we have the cute little trees, and they're very delicate. So when you are popping them out, and I pop them out ahead of time, I popped them out together. So you get, um, you know, a couple sheets of them. So I left them lay together and then they're kind of more solid and you're less apt to bend them. But whatever you do, just don't rush. Just, you know, be really gentle when you're pulling them out. Because this is what they come out of and I've already put it in the garbage, crazy me. So see how they come out like this. So you just want to make sure you, you keep them kind of stacked together and then peel, you know, punch them out together. And it just helps if there's, um, cause then they're a little thicker. All right. So we are going to put our tree on here like that. So you've got your trees on here and I love that you can see that shadow. Then we're going to put our old olive strip. And like I said, these are the way the rules say to do it or the directions. So you've got this strip down here. The only thing different is I'm going to be putting an old olive up on the top. 
just because I used the other one. All right, then we're gonna peel our glue dots off of this that we already put the little tiny bit of twine on. And look how cute it looks. I'm not, I usually don't do that, but I like it on here. All right, so that's going to go here. And then these are these other pieces. So this is the one that has the little birds on there with the clouds. So this kind of reminds me of one of those photos that it, the picture is framed with a whole bunch of frames and then they just kind of fill up the wall. All right, so then this goes here. And then this is where I'm putting that old olive which is a little bit different, but that's okay. So I'm putting this one up here where it should have been something different. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing with our envelope. We have our little natural envelope. And this time, it had the envelope insert has got a bunch of triangly things. So again, stick that in your envelope, push it clear to the bottom, fold your envelope, and you can do the same thing with the white envelopes or the, or the vanilla ones. These ones are, there's like a crease there. Let me get that crease. Um, these are, these are pretty thin. They feel like um, handmade almost. Like, you know how you would make paper? So, that's what they kind of are making me have the feeling of, like they're handmade, like almost like a handmade envelope. All right, so I give that a good crease. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other one. I'm going to glue my insert, close the envelope, and now that's on the inside. So there is card two. So now let me show you the alternatives. All right, let me get this in here. Let me get that in there. Okay, so where are the other cards? Let's see here. So we have, let me make sure you can see. All right, so that's the card I just finished. Let's see. So this is the one that's the same. So this is the one that's the same. Let's see. Okay, so this is a different one. All right, so this one, I cut, so I was playing around and I, I loved the design, so I cut this apart. So I just cut it apart and moved it over to the side and I liked the look of that. So then what I did was I brought the trees because you get extra trees. Um, so I put some trees here and then I put the here's to you and the little birds. So it, it totally gave it, you know, a different kind of look. And I did the same thing. So I put the um, envelope insert because it has those flowers. So, and I didn't do anything on the inside of the card because I will be sending these as um, thank you cards. So then, since I cut that one that way, I'm like, well, what happens if I cut it this way? So then I cut it this way. And then I just trimmed this because I wanted to write, because it has this really pretty saying. So it just says, may your journey through life take you to many new and exciting places. So it's got a really cute um, little skinny saying with it. So I just kept trimming this down so that it was I was able to put um, that paper in there. And so I think that one turned out good too. I didn't put any birds in the sky of that one, but I, I guess I could go back and do that, but this one turned out good. And then I used this in, um, card insert for that one. Let's see, what else? Wool tails. All right, so this is how that one card was supposed to look. So see how you have this petal pink, those clouds up there? So that's how it was supposed to look. But since I used it elsewhere, I just put the old olive one in, and it's, it's totally fine that way. All right. So, and then what is this one? Okay, so that's the same. That's the one I did first. All right, 
And then this one, I love this one. And this actually, because Stampin' Up! always gives you alternative ideas. If you turn it over in the back, the instructions show you alternatives. So, and this looks like it's that little box that I showed you the other day. All right. And I loved, loved, loved this one. So, I just ended up making that one. So, it's a little bit different. I mean, my size is is a little bit off. But um, I really loved how this one turned out. Now, this is the wood plank um, embossing folder, or the pine wood planks, sorry, pine wood planks embossing folder. This is retiring. So you want to make sure that you get this um, embossing folder before it's gone. Because once it's gone, I doubt it lasts till the end of the catalog. Um, cause I always say like, if, you know, if Stampin' Up! has an order of one, they can't order a truckload, you know, for, for, for one order. So just always get, get your orders in quick. But yes, this one, it, I love that. And it did, it took two of the, two of the trees. All right. So there's that one. And what I did was I put the insert into one of our white envelopes because what I did was this insert sits a little lower so it doesn't go all the way to the bottom so i had to pull it up a little bit because i trimmed the envelope insert to put down here so don't always think that you have to use the envelope inserts on an envelope right like nobody's the wiser that this envelope inserts a little shorter you know all right, but I do I do love that one. Okay, and then I did some 3D. So these little boxes, I love these tiny little treat boxes. They're um, acetate and they hold like little Kit Kat bars. Um, so they fit in there. And I love the Kit Kat almost kind of matched the, um, the Calypso Coral, you know, or you could, you know, stamp it with a different greeting or whatever, but I love the look of the little, little tree. Now keep in mind, these treat boxes are also retiring. So if you want to make some of these up, um, you know, make sure you grab them and they are so simple and easy to put together and they, you know, they come flat. So, you know, they take up hardly any, um, room on your shelf. So I made that one. And then this is the one I love this one too. So these are the little mini pizza boxes and this one turned out cute too. And I just cut down one of the cards. I just cut that down and then, um, use some of the extra paper, use some more of the trees. And then this is where I used, remember I said I, I used the, um, clouds so i just put the clouds around the edge of the box so that used up that one that i that i needed and it just says here's to you happy birthday but i love the look of this one so pizza boxes also retiring make sure you grab those and they're super fun they hold there's nothing in this one obviously um they hold fun stuff but we have been eating all our candy so i need to order some more um candy for my my um demonstrations and stuff like that but but these are um food safe so inside i don't know if you can see that they've got a sheen to them so if you were to put um food in there you know they're food safe i would always put put something in a in a little um cellophane but um but they are coated so you know you're you're good to go but so i love the look of this one too you know so anyways, but I think that's all, I think that's all that I did. I think I just did the two boxes and the extra cards. And I have um, one card left to do. So let her, let's see what pieces are. Oh, this is some more of that paper that I trimmed. Couple more little happy birthdays. So I can still come up with something. I used all my trees. And I have some twine left. So that's not too bad. And then I think I have an envelope and another insert. So I totally could come up with a couple more things if I wanted to. So, but this was a good, this is a good one. Um, the next month, if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, oh, and I meant to print out the flyer. I'm such a dork. 
Okay, I'll put the flyer in the group. But it's um like popsicles, like um, ice creamy kind of thing. So um, you want to make sure that you do that. And you have to do it by April the 10th. Because then it's too late. Because that's when the, um, when the orders go through. So you want to make sure that if you want, if you want April, because this was, this one was March. Okay. So if you want the April one, which is popsicles, make sure you, um, subscribe. And, um, and I think that's all I have to share to you, share today. So it wasn't too long. And, um, hopefully that gave you a couple ideas if you did get, if you did get this one. And, um. I will see you Monday. If you are doing the um, spring social, I know some of you are watching right now. Um, I can't wait to see you. Um, it's 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, Arizona time. And that's when, um, so I sent you the, the Zoom links and you've got your PDF, so you, you should be good to go. Um, if you have any questions, though, make sure you um, reach out to Marcy and I tonight if you have any questions. That way you're all ready to go um, in the morning. And um, we can't wait. We can't wait to see you. So um, I will see you, like I said, for the spring social if you're doing that. Otherwise, I will see everybody else um, for my mimeograph Monday. That's at 11 o'clock Arizona time. And that's um, live on my YouTube channel. All right. So have a good weekend, everyone. And um, I will see you later. Bye for now.